Good morning, 10.50 a.m., 12-21-2017. Happy Thursday, everyone. Uh, I actually just used that for a, an opening. Because today, I'd like to talk about 65301 Sedalia, Missouri, the third world country. And it had been on a slow downhill run for years toward that. How do I know? Because I grew up there, was raised there, lived there through part of, part of my married life. Um, <clears throat> had moved to Otterville for like three years, which is still... Sedalia was still where I shopped, sorry. Okay, so why would they do this? Third World Sedalia letting codename Nietzsche to live next to a preschool, according to Google. Naked kids eating from dumpster connection. No. So see, here's our little pictures down here. And some people suggested they don't need to be put on there like that, but I think it's something people need to know. So now you shouldn't get to cover things up. I'm sure there's more that they have covered up over the years. Uh, just have. Something told me it would only be a matter of time before the entire place would begin to noticeably degenerate. Say it isn't so. What next? Because, see here, we can open this one. It will speed up. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go. And the reason I think of it is, uh, connection to code name Nietzsche. Because my husband said when he went back into that commune, it had the gate at the road, of course. I mean, a lot of properties do that. Had to walk a ways back into there. And he said there were little kids running around naked. And it reminded him then of Vietnam. So you see, this is... This came from her. I felt this was her influence. Like, oh, this is just fine and dandy. You know? And it wasn't just then. When my dad was alive and they found those 27 illegals living in the house next door, neighbors later told me that they would fill up an inflatable or fill up a kid's pool. I don't know if it was inflatable or plastic now, to tell you the truth. It doesn't matter. It was a kid's pool. And the kids would be running around all in the yard naked. And that's where they would bathe, as in that little pool. See what I'm saying? And that was several years even before this, with the naked kids running around, hard telling what they ate. Maybe a couple of their family worked at Tyson's, you know. They hid them in the secret room uh, when the supervisors, or all well, the supervisors were probably in on it. The bosses, whichever. The brass came to town. Maybe hit them. Maybe they got some chicken fingers or something. Which sounds kind of creepy while I'm looking at a kid say, even mentioning chicken fingers. You know, it's like, oh God, please. Don't even go there. So, that was my spiel though, mainly that anywhere she goes, anything she has her fingers in, so to speak, would be going bad. It would turn to crap. Just like it won't be, wouldn't be long and that whole, to totally whole neighborhood would be trashed. Wherever she's at. Totally, that's the effect she has on people. You have to understand this. We had to fight hard to keep our sanity 
because she has that kind of effect on people. I don't know why her mother or whoever tasked her out in the way they did to cause the upset and the chaos and the negativity wherever she is. Uh, that's probably something I'll never, ever, ever understand. So, thanks for watching, listening.